already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. Engines now at 72 percent, beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. All three liquid fueled engines are back at full throttle. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. Solid, solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant every second. Coming up on uh, 1 minute 45 seconds, standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles downrange. All three engines are still performing as expected. SRB separation and staging confirmed. All three electrically producing fuel cells are uh, operating as expected, as are the hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units. Approaching six minutes into the flight. Atlantis is now rolling to a heads up position. Traveling 9,400 miles per hour, 352,000 feet in altitude or 66 miles downrange from the launch site, 390 miles. A little less than two and a half minutes of powered flight uh, remaining, all systems still uh, operating as expected. Atlantis Houston, press to Miko, and we're seeing good cooling on Fast Pry Alpha. Uh, press to Miko. ET separation confirmed. Atlantis now uh, off of the external tank. Uh, Commander uh, Brent Jett will fire the uh, pulsey engines on Atlantis to position it for uh, photography of the tank as it falls away. Beautiful view of Atlantis as it uh, falls away from the tank. You can see the jets firing uh, those reaction control system jets to position the orbiter. Atlantis Houston, nominal Miko, Ohms 1 is not required, and no action on the cabin DPDT. This is Mission Control Houston now watching video that was recorded by the crew on board Atlantis of the external tank after it fell away from the orbiter after main engine cutoff. This video is being downlinked to Mission Control, so imagery analysts and engineering experts can review it and assess uh, the foam coverage on the external tank. This all uh, added to a compilation of imagery and data that helps the experts uh, determine the integrity of Atlantis's heat shield, the thermal protection system that is in place to protect the orbiter uh, when it enters into the Earth's atmosphere again at the end of the mission. And this is a view inside uh, the laboratory module of the International Space Station after Atlantis launched when the crew members were able to watch replays on uh, computers inside the lab with Atlantis and her crew on, it, on its way to the space station scheduled to arrive early Monday morning. Astronaut Jeff Williams is in the foreground, cosmonaut Pavel Vinogradov in the center, and European Space Agency astronaut Tomas Ryder in the background. Williams and Vinogradov have uh, been on board the space station for about 163 days now, uh, wrapping up their uh, mission soon. Ryder uh, just arrived at the station this summer aboard the STS-121 mission. 
in the space shuttle Discovery, and we'll stay aboard until uh, December when the STS-116 mission is scheduled to bring up his replacement uh, astronaut Sunita Williams. This is a view of the left-hand payload bay door coming open. Uh, in the foreground, the uh, P3-P4 truss element, the main focus of uh, Atlantis's mission to deliver that 35,000-pound uh, uh, truss structure to the International Space Station. Also in the center portion, the uh, shoulder joint of the shuttle's remote manipulator system, the robotic arm, that will uh, see an extensive amount of work uh, throughout this mission, the first um, part of its uh, uh, operation will be a little bit later today when it's checked out uh, before the crew goes to bed in preparation for tomorrow's um, extensive um, investigation and inspection of the uh, shuttle's wing leading edge uh, panels. This is Mission Control Houston with a live view of the Space Shuttle robotic arm being operated by the Space Shuttle Atlantis crew uh, with a checkout of the RMS or the remote manipulator system, the arm itself. It is being checked out by astronauts uh, Chris Ferguson and Dan Burbank for its use during this mission. First use uh, will be to inspect Atlantis's thermal protection system tomorrow using the other boom on Atlantis, the orbiter boom sensor system, which was also built in Canada. The shuttle robotic arm will also be used to remove the major uh, payload from Atlantis's uh, cargo bay, the P3, P4 truss structure, which weighs about 35,000 pounds, will be removed from the payload bay with the shuttle arm and handed over to the station robotic arm for installation on the outboard end of the station's truss structure. The Space Shuttle Atlantis is orbiting about 196 statute miles over Africa and some thunderstorms are seen on the surface of the Earth below.